I mean, the guy has played Jesus, he's played the president, and oh my God, what he's playing in the new play, a soldier's play. I mean, not new, but a re uh, a reimagining of uh, a revival of a soldier's play, which is on Broadway only until March 15th, and it is so good. Blair Underwood. Oh, Hello. thank you, Jess. Great to see you again. Yes, it's great to see you. Do you like being introduced as he played Jesus? You know, you started with that. Where do you go from there? It's all downhill after that. Exactly. He <laughs> is godly in so many ways um a soldier's play this is being put on again after what 40 36 years 36 years and it is um i mean Char- charles fuller wrote a pulitzer prize winning play incredible yeah. i as i was watching it i thought how on earth was this put on 36 years ago it felt so contemporary right yeah right no it's it's amazing that it, it resonates today like it did in some some ways even more so than it did then and and the reason for that is we, we're dealing with so many complex issues within well, well american culture but within the black race mm-hmm. you have nine representations of, of of black men with nine very different perspectives on themselves and the world in which they live um, three white characters. Uh, uh, Jerry O'Connell is a great character, Captain Taylor. Yeah. I play a cat. We should say for the audience, yes, I guess. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, it's, 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 it's a murder mystery, first and foremost. Set in 1944, World War II, in Louisiana, um, an all black battalion, and a black officer is, is murdered, played by David Allen Greer, Sergeant Waters. And I play Captain Davenport, who comes into this situation to investigate the murder. Yes. Basically, and then everything else unfolds from there. Um, and is 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 sort of you know met especially by Jerry O'Connell's character who's who's white with a lot of like oh no 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 we're not on the same level you can't you can't come in here and do what w- everything he's saying is like what a white person should be coming in here and doing right right and the, what the way the way it's written which is so great is that he's saying it not just because I don't I don't see it I'm not used to seeing a black man with captain bars but. The world in which we live, this town, it's, it's set in Louisiana, tiny Louisiana, yeah. yeah. They're not going to accept you mm-hmm. investigating. You're not going to be able to arrest anybody. They're not going to They're not gonna trust you. They're not going to allow you to do it. And matter of fact, they might kill you. You may end up dead like everybody else. Yeah. So this is what the char- my character is facing when he walks into it. And um, Jerry's terrific in it, and David Allen Greer is wonderful. He really is. Yeah. And I should say, because I feel like I just said something about Jerry's character, I will say he, he is not, and, and to Kenny Leon's credit, uh, the director, he is not a, you know, quote unquote villain. He's not this like no. mustache twirling villain, um, which is a credit to the writing and a credit to his portrayal also. Yeah. No, uh, Kenny was adamant about that. Yeah. That we see fully realized characters and not cartoon characters, not archetypes or stereotypes. Mm-hmm. And and it's 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 on the page, but it's also our job as actors to not play into stereotypes. Yeah. And um and and he not just Jerry's character, but there are the two white male characters that beat up, and uh, Jer- uh, David Allen Greer's character that you think might be the killers. You don't know who the killer is right. <laughs> until the end. But even those characters, it's just matter of fact. Mm-hmm. It's like listen, the, the 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 Negro wasn't doing what he was supposed to be doing. He mm-hmm. wasn't taking an order. Yeah. And um, you know where I come from, just a matter of his facts. Where I come from, we would have killed him. Right. And matter of fact, he looks at me and says, "Matter of fact, you'd be dead." Yeah. From where I come from. Mm-hmm. What was so? What what was it? Had you read the play? Had you ever seen a performance of it? And was this the character where you're like, I want this because he's an interesting guy. He is, he's a captain. I mean, he's yeah. kind of like, um, he's he's important and a little buttoned up, but also mm. has to let different things that are going on, you know, around him impact him. Yeah, yeah. I had seen the movie when it came out because mm-hmm. it was, of course, a two-year iconic run here in New York, and then it went into a movie in 1983 called A Soldier's Story, written uh, directed by Norman Jewison, Academy Award nominations. Yes. Um, I had not seen a production of it. I had not read the play, so when Kenny called me and said, would you... Uh, you know, invited me onto the into the cast. Um, I read the play, and it's a, it's it's very similar. But in the play, my character narrates the play. That's not in the movie. So there are three monologues that are not in the film. Um, so he kind of sets it up and, and interjects, and then gives the final uh, coda at the very end. So I saw it as as a challenge because I'm an army brat myself. Are you? I'm a self-proclaimed army brat. Mm-hmm. My dad's retired army colonel. Uh, so I grew up on army bases. So I've been around that that lifestyle. Um, in that life most of my childhood. And um, so it's the first time I've really had a chance to kind of delve into that. There's, 
Everyone, I mean, across the board, the cast is so amazing. Aren't they, though? Did, yeah. Oh, God, it's, everyone's so good. And different, so different and mm. so good. Did Kenny get you all together, you know, initially? Uh, you know, I know it's a different rehearsal process mm. than in a film or on a TV show or anything. But how much did he get you guys together or keep you separate from them? Oh, no, no. We, we all kind of, we worked hard on just the rehearsal process, mm -hmm. you know, um, just long days of, of rehearsing before, well, just every day. And then, you know, you, you find those, you find those, you build those relationships, you find those relationships and those nuances as characters, but also as actor to actor um, during that process. That's why it's invaluable. Yeah, I thought it something that was I thought so interesting in in the dynamic was the, the a lot of these soldiers like you're there to to kind of find out what's going on. Like mm. you're not their peer and you're not their friend, and the 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 respect and like the reverence they have oh. because they're like wait like we've never had a captain who looks like you walk onto this base and and it's yeah. um. It's an interesting dynamic to watch your character have to react to that because on some level he's probably like, yeah, like the, I'm groundbreaking. On the other hand, I have to be above you. That's exactly right. And he so gets it. He understands it because it's a rarity. But but there's a job to do. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I, I try to find those moments where he can kind of embrace it and accept it and absorb it for a second. But now let's move on. Mm -hmm. so let's, let's get past that. <laughs>talk about a moment um at the top of act two and i'm guessing you know what that is <laughs> well, I just don't so, have to top back two. yeah so blair underwood comes out serious captain he's you know <laughs> and he's buttoning up his shirt and literally the audience goes nuts i'm there like people are like Woo! take it off like it's like this super serious play about like murder and racism and death yeah. and the military whatever and then people i like i simultaneously was like kind of laughing and then also feeling bad for you um oh, but then I also like bad. cheering right. you know. <laughs> just kidding i wasn't i mean i was but. yeah right. <laughs> um what is that mo I'm, I, and i've heard that that happens every night not every night okay um it, it happens when it doesn't happen are you yeah. like uh guys my shirt's unbuttoned no 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 <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> um it's it's an interesting moment um but you know, I I I embrace it. When it first happened, I, I was it was I didn't know what to think. Right, because um, it's probably like in rehearsal, it's not happening. No, it's not. You know? No, not at all. Yeah. But Kenny Leon actually, he was the one. I was I was pointing to him. He said, "Don't don't blame it on me." I said, "No, man, you were the one." <laughs> and the script says the character's getting dressed. Uh -huh. So all three rehearsal, I had two buttons undone. I'm just buttoning up the top, and I'm tying tying my tie. That's I'm using that for most of the time. And right before he moved from the rehearsal hall to the theater, he said, "One more note, Blair." Um, and this is a serious note. Don't don't laugh. Don't laugh. I think you should just unbutton a few more buttons, just because some in the audience might appreciate that. I said, hey man, whatever. I, I trust you. You're Kenny Leon. You're brilliant, so I, I trust you. Um, but once we started doing the performances, when that happened, uh, I just kind of waited until it finished. And then I kept and then I kept talking. And then one of the other actors said, "Dude, I looked at I looked down. He said, "You look mad. Were you mad?" I said, "No, man. I'm not mad. I'm just I'm waiting." So then I started thinking. I said, "Wait a minute. Because of those monologues." I already break the fourth wall. I'm talking yes. to the audience. It's a conversation. So if anything happens, unlike if I'm in a scene, but if anything happens, if a rat runs across the, hall, the, the, the stage or if people laugh or, or react, it's, it's, only, it's silly if I don't acknowledge mm -hmm. it because it's happening. Yes. And my job is to make sure, you know, like, you know, I mean, it may be it's because it's funny to me, actually. But it's just as Dav, it's in character because as Davenport would feel, I'm getting dressed. I'm talking to a group of people. They're responding to something. It's like, okay, that's that's funny. But let me tell you, I'm talking here. Let me, oh, I'm talking here. Let me finish my let me finish my my story. Um, so that's kind of how I, I address it now. Just you you see it and um, just continue to tell the story. It's very Davenport actually because it's so almost like you you at least in the the performance that I saw like you paused for a split second. It wasn't even like and it was very in keeping with like this guy's human. Um, and, <laughs> and and I agree with you. He does break the fourth wall and there is in some ways like a different level of intimacy that the audience has right. with this character because of that. Right. It gets very intimate. Yeah. <laughs> gets super More than intimate. I expected. Right. <laughs> So funny. Okay, so but I tell you, I have to, if I may, I was talking to my, my my wife and kids last night after well last night, and um, you know my daughter's asking how's it going, and they've they've seen it. I said, you know, the, the, what's fun about this is as actors hope for a great role where you mm -hmm. can make people think 
and laugh and feel and cry. And at the beginning, there's something, some scenes, especially when Jerry O'Connell's talking about, I, I just I can't get used to a black guy with bars on. And my response to that is very funny. He's wearing the sunglasses. So to make an audience laugh is fun. And then the beginning of the second act, to make to to, to, to play with that reaction of the audience is just mm-hmm. kind of a superficial, fun thing. But then at the end, to have an audience weep or be, or, 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 or be very thought-provoking, it's a gift for an actor to play a role and to be able to hit those notes. You know, and it's interesting, now that you're saying that, how smart was Kenny to tell you to do that? Also because it kind of like gets the audience to feel like more, I don't know, not more comfortable, but just like, okay, he's this guy. He's like, you know, we've gotten to know him. We're laughing. We're like whooping at how cute he is. And then, and then it's, it makes the punch that much harder um, because your defenses are down a little bit. Exactly. By the end. It's such a good show. A soldier's play is on Broadway until March 15th. You really should go see it. It's, it's, um, it's wonderful. 